All right, everybody, welcome to today's Catch and Field Friday. I uh, wanted to go over just a simple little glove technique that I've seen with a few of our younger guys. Um, not something I see a lot with the high schoolers, but definitely with the younger kids, and that's really glove positioning on a ground ball. And the best way we can isolate that is just by playing wall ball. Uh, if you don't have a wall and a tennis ball, grab a partner, grab mom or dad, have them sit on a bucket and just toss a little short hops. But essentially, what I talk about is glove position. So a lot of guys will be in their fielding stance, and their palm essentially is facing straight forward at a fairly neutral wrist, right? You can see it's not extended or flexed in any way. It's fairly neutral. And what happens is as my glove is essentially catching raindrops from the sky, and my, my catch radius within my glove is very small, as you can kind of see on the camera. Whereas if I get down here and then I extend, now my web gets a little bit bigger, my glove can open up a little bit more, and now I've got more margin for error. And this is something I don't see in a lot of young players. They tend to be here, and then everything they do catch, catches them up on the palm, and then you get that little bobble, and it's not as quick and efficient of a transfer as it could be, as opposed to being down here and ready, now the gloves open and my pocket is more presented to the baseball. So, we can work on that, try to isolate as best as we can. We just get our knees, try to be in a fairly athletic position, so I don't want to be sitting back on my heels. I want to be fairly athletic, so essentially, in my fielder stance, instead of on my feet, I'm on my knees. I have the same exact posture. And from here, I want to start with my fingers basically on the ground, and then I'm just going to softly press through any short hops. And that's what we'll start with, is just some short hops, pressing through. And once we get better at this, we can mix in some backhands, some longer forehands, and then we can start challenging ourselves. If you, again, if you have a partner and you want to do wall ball, you can mix in some in-between hops, you can roll a few, mix in some high hops, anything to really challenge the skill set from there. But essentially, we've got to have the, the extended wrist at the start to present the pocket of the glove as best we can. That's all I've got for today. If you want more content, check us out at www.trainerprime.com.